Hey guys, Chelsea here. I hope you're having a really good week. Uh, I just wanted to make a quick video today about how I studied for the instrument written test. I took it about a couple weeks ago and I got a lot of questions, um, like just direct messages on Instagram about how I studied for it. So I just decided I'd make a video about it. So like I said, I took the test about a couple weeks ago. So I took the instrument test and I took the CFII test. So the way they're coded in the PSI, um, the PSI is like the testing organization that the government contracts, but the way they're coded is instrument is IRA and then CFII is FII, I believe. So the IRA has 60 questions, two and a half hours, and then the CFII, FII test is 50 questions and I, I believe that's two and a half hours too, but you'll get it done if you study right in like 30, 40 minutes. Um, so I scored in the 90s on both of my tests. Here are my um, knowledge test reports. I'm not going to zoom in because it has my personal information. Um, but I spent about, I'd say, like a couple weeks studying for them. I started ATP, like I said in my last videos, on January 6th. Um, and I took the test, I'd say, like a couple weeks after, so like January, well, actually it says a date on here. I took them on January 24th. So about a couple weeks after. Um, so I studied using Shepard Air, which everyone will tell you is the best. They unfortunately don't have it for private pilot, but they have it for everything after. Um, so Shepard Air, I got it through ATP since I got an ATP, but if you're not with um, ATP or you're with a different flight school, definitely for the instrument test, get Shepard Air. Shepard Air is $45, and then I think to add on CF, uh, CFI, so the FII test, it's like $10, but my recommendation for you to save money would just to be buy the IRA and don't buy the add-on for the FII test, just because the questions are literally the same. So I took the IRA first, and people would recommend taking the CFII, FII test first, just because if you don't do that well on the CF. Uh, double I test, the FII, then you can uh, not choose not to take the instrument test. But I guess I felt prepared and that's the way I scheduled it. So I took the IRA test first. Uh, I actually ended up doing better on the FII test, uh, which is a little odd, but I think I got easier questions. But between both the tests, I got about 10 of the same questions. So I'll tell you how I study now. Um, I just followed, I'm a very systematic person, so I like. I wrote on my planner what I'm going to do each day. I'm going to go through Shepherd Air categories, and then I'm going to go through the ASA book. So some people just do Shepherd Air, which is totally fine, but I think that if you're putting in the time to study, honestly, try to learn something. Don't just try to memorize like where you are in relation to the VOR and stuff. Actually take the time and figure out what some of these questions mean, because some of them will actually help you, especially with your oral once you get to the practical. So I first studied with Shepherd Air, and... ATP will give you, um, they'll tell you to call Shepherd Air and then set up your account. But if you aren't going through ATP, literally just type in Shepherd Air and then find instrument and purchase it. Um, and like I said, literally the question bank is the same for FII and IRA tests. So go through Shepherd Air and read the study, um, like the study methodology or how you're supposed to study for it because it really helps. They have you go through the questions in different orders and in different categories. And it's great if you want to memorize the questions. Um, the explanations aren't that great on Shepherd Air. So I bought, and I also use this for my private too. They're not that expensive. I bought the ASA instrument rating test prep. And what's great about this is if you actually want to learn when you're studying for your written, it'll go through like, it'll go through kind of weather first. It has like a contents page in the front. Probably can't really see that, but. Um, so as you go through it, it'll tell you like description of the test, blah, blah, blah. Um, so it'll start with chapters. So like this is chapter one, it's about weather. And then it'll go through description, so the Earth's atmosphere. And you can read the description and then answer the question. So it's just a really great way to like get some knowledge or like content first and then answer the questions. And what I love about this book is it comes with the actual testing supplement that you'll use in the test. So. This is the Airman Knowledge Testing Supplement, like I just said, and all of the figures are in here. So literally you can write on the figures. You can't write on the one 
um, in the actual test, but if you buy the ASA book, you can write on this one. So literally, if you're doing like holding pattern ones, you can draw on it, which is great. And this is, like I said, the actual book on the test. So, um, Shepard Air will give you the figures, but it's on your computer and you have to zoom in and slide over. And when it's multiple figures, you can't look at them at the same time. So this is why I love the ASA books. Um, also, I use a uh, program called, let me just make sure this is right, examforpilots.org. Uh, and if you don't want to buy Shepard Air for $45 or however much it is, just go to examsforpilots.org and literally like all the questions that are on Shepard Air will be on the exam for pilots. It won't have the study methodology like Shepard Air does, but it's, well, I found it to be mostly the same questions and the test bank is like 1,200 something questions. So that's how many questions exam for pilots has uh, on the instrument. So that might be another good way to uh, study. And then lastly, I want to bring up, um, so Shepard Air has this, it's, mine's all crumpled, but they have this study sheet, like study memorization sheet, so for holding patterns, which you'll learn about, um, like you memorize these figures and you can figure out like if it's a direct teardrop or parallel entry, um, so I marked all mine up and right when I got to the testing center, I wrote these down. Um, I pretty much knew how to do the holding patterns, but this was just for uh, reassurance, I guess you would say, that I'm actually getting the question right. Um, and then lastly, the thing that I used to study um, was the FAA test questions. So if you look up like IRA sample test questions, you can find questions that the FAA produces and some of them are same, the same as Shepard and stuff, but um, it's not actual test questions, it's just practice ones that the FAA puts out. And it's literally like two pages, so. If you just want to be really thorough, you can look through that. So yeah, mainly I use Shepard Air, the ASA prep book, um, and then sometimes you can find like Quizlets, but if you don't want to spend that time finding Quizlets, that's fine. And then the FAA test questions. So those are all the things that I used. Um, I studied for about two and a half weeks. I took the IRA, FII test at the same time, which I would highly recommend. So yeah, I hope that helps you study for your instrument written questions. And if you have any questions for me at all or um, concerns or anything that maybe I can answer, just let me know. And I hope this video helped. Thanks so much.